and makes health insurance more affordable. And finally, as we proceed towards a balanced budget in the situation, but uh, that's, uh, that's the way it's, it's gone. I think it's certainly fair to say that the overall performance of the American economy has continued to surpass most forecasters' expectations. The current cyclical upswing is now approaching six years in duration, and the economy has retained considerable vigor, with few signs of imbalances and inflationary tensions that, is, that have disrupted past expansions. It was enough to generate more than 2.5 million new payroll jobs last year and to cause the un But in contrast to that earlier period, we have not experienced a broad increase in inflation. In fact, by some important measures of price trends, inflation actually slowed a bit last year. And the distribution of risks around that expectation. The question is, of course, where do we go from here? Can we continue to achieve significant gains, gains in real activity while avoiding inflationary excesses? Because monetary policy works with a lag, it is not the conditions prevailing today that are critical, but rather those likely to prevail 6 to 12 months or even longer from now. Indeed, the converse is also true, in that the new competitive realities suppressed wage cost growth as a consequence of job insecurity can be carried only so far. At some point in the future, the trade-off of subdued wage growth for job security has to come to an end. While I state a couple of facts, can you see that current path? As you can see, under any the gross domestic product just skyrockets. Uh, there are three 